Today is uh, Tuesday, July the 13th, 2021, and we're spending time this week talking about uh, our devotional life, the time we spend with God, how we are devoted to Him. In James 4, 8, in the first part of that verse, it says, draw near to God and He will draw near to you. Is that is that desire in you? Is that passion in you today that you'd draw near to God? I pray it is. I pray before we finish this video, the Spirit of God stirring you to get closer to Him. In Psalms 25, 14, in the Living Bible, it says, Friendship with God is reserved for those who reverence Him. With them alone, He shares the secrets of His promises. Huh. So if, if I don't reverence God, if I don't uh, spend time alone with Him, I won't know about His promises, the secret, the deep part of His promises. In Mark Chapter 12, verse 30, and you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your mind, and with all your strength. So I think it would behoove all of us to develop a consistent, passionate, daily relationship with God. And the result of this is that there will be a strong devotional life where God's glorified and we're increasingly conformed to the image of Christ Jesus. So that implies to me, at least, and I hope that you hear this clearly, that the devotional life is not just a, a set time in the morning or at noon or in the evening where we get into the Word of God and we say a few prayers. It's about how we live our life devotionally to Him, how we're constantly in conversation with Him. That's We call that prayer, and how we're constantly meditating on the Word of God. So we, I think to understand this, we have to know what, what devotion means. What does this mean? So let's draw a picture from something the vast majority of us can appreciate. Take the evolving relationship of a man and a woman who later become a husband and wife. The factors necessary to move from a casual to a deepened husband-wife relationship are many. Here's just a few. When a man desires to make a woman his wife, he generally finds an incredible amount of time to show her his devotion. <laughs> it's amazing. I mean, he, today, with social media, he might be texting her nonstop during the day and reminding her how much he loves her. He might be sending her emails or Instagramming her or whatever. But he's going to spend an, an incredible amount of time. In fact, when he's not at work, when he's not at school, whatever it might be, he's, he's going to be finding time to, to be with her. He courts her. He romances her. He gives expressions of devotion. And what happens is the relationship deepens. Love is developed, and more often than not, a permanent relationship called marriage is established. In this analogy, there's a mutual sharing of all the described items. So let's give another picture. Another picture that can bring clarity to this issue of devotion is the parent-child relationship. Here the parent expends more on the relationship than the child does when this boy or girl is a child. Early in life, extending into the teen years in a healthy family circle, uh, the children are extremely dependent for life upon the parents. All the nurture, the care, and love is more one-sided. Responses are gathered from the child, but the parent carries a far greater part of the relationship. As a, as a child moves into the teen years, expressions and tensions tend to mount because the need for survival is less, except for the money. And teens start testing values, relationships, and developing life experience. So we can see in a parent-child relationship, a husband-wife relationship, the, the need for devotion to deepen the relationship. See, God's interested and desires to develop a, a lifelong, us to develop a lifelong dependency upon him. He will be pleased with nothing less than that. In fact, God tells us unless we become like a child, we cannot enter the kingdom of God. To remain a child with God, however mature we become the faith, is almost totally dependent upon our devotion. Now, I've described relationship in two fields, portraying a picture of devotion. Let's use just words to describe it now. Devotion to God is, is demonstrated or evidenced in our loyalty to Him, our allegiance to Him, our dedication to Him, our enthusiasm, our affection, our attachment 
our, our commitment to the person of Jesus Christ and his commandments. And so for any of those and all of those things to happen, uh, we must work to develop the relationship. Now, the work's not drudgery. It's not boring. It's not laborious. Just ask any young man in love with a young woman. <laughs> it's no pain to spend all this time on give all this enthusiasm and affection and attachment and commitment to that young lady. It's romantic. It's nurturing. It's time-consuming. It, it's extremely fulfilling. That's the way it ought to be with God. Like every relationship, we must do something to keep it moving forward and growing. So I want to I wanna urge you today to, to become more loyal, more allegiant, more dedicated, more enthusiastic about your relationship with Jesus. And I'm going to pray for that right now. Father, we ask you in the name of your Holy Son, Jesus Christ, and by the power of your Holy Spirit to work in us a nurturing and an increased enthusiasm and a, a fire for our relationship with you. For me personally, God, I ask you not to allow me to put it on the back burner and, and just assume that you're going to be there for me when I don't spend any time with you. Not to take advantage of the fact that you're a, a God of grace and mercy and, and that you are ready to pardon and forgive my trespasses and sins against you. Help me to develop a deepening relationship with you. Be Lord of my life. Be captain over my mind. I give you praise, Lord. And I, I pray... Uh, Holy Spirit inspired fire touch everyone who watches this video today in the name of Jesus. Amen. Have a fantastic day and draw near to God. God bless you.